Like either you have MS or you have a B vitamin B12 deficiency. And obviously you want to believe the best. So I was like, Nick, bring me home some vitamin B12. Uh, my name is Josephine and I'm the creator of uh, the MS Lifestyle on Instagram uh, and I have uh, been meaning to get back to YouTube for a while uh, but as uh, most of you know it's not an easy task to put together a video so um, with kids and everything just time has just not been enough today it's my birthday Woohoo! I'm 32 years old and I am yeah, I'm having a good, nice, relaxing day. I'm not putting anything, any pressures on me. We're just relaxing. And so I thought, why not? Today I'll do it. I was diagnosed with MS, uh, which is also known as multiple sclerosis, or it's M multiple sclerosis known as MS. I uh, was di diagnosed with that about two years ago now, almost two years. Um, and uh, I have changed my lifestyle to help me with everything basically when it comes to MS. Uh, I initially did it to um, slow down the progression of, of it, um, but I have gotten um, quite a few positive results um, on top of that um, as well. And I'll get into that later, but um, that's basically um, why I do this. And I really, really, really want to reach out to others out there that might be in the same situation. Not necessarily MS. This is, could be any autoimmune disease or any other, um, anything else. Like it can be a perfectly healthy person that just wants to change their life. So um, I just want to try and reach out to you. I've been playing with the idea of telling you everything, like from the beginning to the end, but that's just gonna like, that would literally be a video the length of, I don't know, all three Lord of the Rings. So I'm not gonna do that. I am going to talk about, um, just, I'm just very, very quickly gonna summarize what my life was like before I got my diagnosis. There was a lot of things that happened. Um, we, we moved country, I was pregnant, I, um, you know, we had really, 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 really poor diet, um, mainly because of our finances, but, um, but also like, you know, we fed our kids what we thought that they wanted, you know, um, there was a lot of, um, anxiety in my body. Like we had, we'd gone through quite a lot of, I say ups and downs, but there were very few ups, um, in my view at the time. I looked at things very negatively and there was very, very few ups. Um, we moved country because of, um, you know, like failed, a failed business. Um, came here, there were a lot of uh, events that made it so that the, the job that Nick was supposed to start, uh, he didn't start straight away. We were living off of nothing. He didn't speak the language. I was, you know, um, the mother of a tiny, tiny baby. Um, it was, it, there was a lot of things that went wrong and, um, at the time, obviously, it was really, really bad. I'm a little bit grateful for all of that now because it's given me a, new, a different perspective on life, but like at the time, obviously, it was awful. And um, the anxiety that was in my body, um, like there was, it was so heightened that like the slightest little thing would throw me over the edge. Um, I would, if I dropped something, I would, it would feel like the whole world went, you know, was, was going down. You know, like it, I cannot describe it any other way than that every single nerve in my body was constantly on alert. Um, now that's, that's how I describe the anxiety, but also at the same time, all of these events and all of these things um, had spiraled me down into, um, you know, what I could probably only class as a depression. I was never like clinically diagnosed, but um, if I compare how I feel today to how I felt then, there is no comparison, like, or there is a comparison. It's huge, it's, it's night and day. Um, and so I know now that that is not what you're supposed to feel. You are not supposed to feel like that. You're not supposed to cry every day. Um, you're not supposed to feel um, like you're not worth anything. And like you, um, and it, it, you know, like I said, it ha this has nothing to do with the people around. They were the most supportive people. They were, I have the most supportive, 
sorry, I had the most supportive husband in the world. That is that has nothing to do with it. Zero. Okay. There, are, you know, you can be in any situation. It doesn't matter. You can be like the richest person in the world. You can have you can have everything, and you can still have a depression. That has nothing to do with it. It doesn't matter how supportive the people around you are. It doesn't matter you, when you have spiraled in your own head down to like unimaginable depths. It does not matter. Okay, so that was where I was um, at the time. I didn't sleep very much. I would um, go to bed very early in the morning rather than in the evening. I would get up early because obviously I got kids. I, um, you know, I saw my evenings as my time. Uh, I could finally clean uh, because, you know, cleaning with kids is like, you know, brushing your teeth while eating Oreos. I love that analogy. I'm sure you've heard it before. It obviously didn't help when you don't sleep. What do you expect, you know? Then you won't have the energy for anything really. I didn't drink enough water and when I say I didn't drink enough water like I don't remember really ever you know oh let's go to the tap and get some water you know whereas now it's like you know I start with my, my I start my morning with you know my liter of water and then I fill it back up again I drink it during the day and then I make sure to drink another liter in the evening so like I am always hydrated my cells are alive now in comparison to what they were before. Yeah, there was those four factors. It was, I mean, I don't know if like they, you know, played a part in my, the progression of my MS per se, but they were, they were playing a part in the progression of my, um, not being well. Okay. So they, they were what made me feel awful. Okay. So it was my diet, which yes, I think that definitely had something to do with my MS. It was my um, my life situation or my, uh, my body's reaction to my life situation, my, my anxiety and my depression. It was the, um, the sleep issue as well as the um, hydration issue. So there was those four issues really for me and I think those led up to what ended up being my, some people would call it doomsday, for me it was my catalyst, the day where my life changed forever.